Hi everyone! Obeza here. Welcome to my free Excel dashboard tutorial right here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to analyze this beautiful live dashboard, analyze the data set we have right here, which is actually a movie data set. So I'm actually create this dynamic filter to help you filter out your data. I'm going to be using much of pivot table right here, learn how to use pivot table and how to mix your pivot table with functions and actually get what you want out of your pivot table. As you can see right here, as you can see right here right now, we are actually trying to see the movies acted in 2013. It's 151 movie by this particular IMDB. So at the top ever, you know, uh, actor in the movie is this Bradley Cooper, and he has actually generated almost 683 million dollars in revenue for the company. And when we change to another year, we see the whole dashboard actually changes to something different. This is how awesome it could be. And now you see this image actually changes to show you the top four movies. You know, all about that. So right now, as you can see, we can actually see right here is based on the genres. So we can see, we want to see this by revenue. When we click on it, we see revenue by budget. We see budget by total movie released in this particular year. This is what we actually see right here. So if we want to filter, we're going to actually have to come to the how more we acted over time which is 3,777 to 2 and if we have this close we can open the filter which is gonna have to do with journals now this is the filter so we want to see all the actual movies so watch here everything just get changed for now this is what it is beautiful right now we only seen our movie the almost latest movie based on idea on our data set the six latest movies we are seeing it right here and this is how much revenue we've actually generated uh, all of that so this is a beautiful dash but i'm going to show you how to create this very very beautiful background we have right here show you how to actually hide and unhide your filter every single time you really want it to be just like that so if i actually close now it goes like this and your dashboard looks very clean so how about this let us see how we can create a very clean and nice dashboard just like this so i'm going to take you through everything step by step so you can have this particular dashboard downloaded to your system and take a look at it how actually you know do all this so right now this is the data set we're going to be using to have this created right now it's very nice not to be too huge to actually you know get into so right now i'm going to actually go and click on the right work that we're going to be using for this particular work right here and start from the scratch so here is a workbook it looks just like this and we can transform this workbook to what we want the first thing I'm going to do right now is go to the top level right here and actually hit on this particular view and from view we can actually choose to remove the grid line. It looks kind of plain just like what we have right now. So the second thing we're going to do right now, we want to give our own background. Type of background, we don't want something very white like this. I'm going to choose on page layout. So from page layout I'm going to choose on background and here we go. So before it loads and take the internet, so I'm going to go to offline, I'm going to choose from offline, you know. So what I'm going to do right now is for me to click right here and choose the kind of background I really want for it. So I'm going to choose this particular type of background so you can have it downloaded online using uh, Google. So now I love such a background. So don't worry, we're going to have what you've just seen in the previous you know, uh, dashboard. So if I click back right on it, what I'm going to have is I'm going to choose this time around, I'm going to choose insert. So if I choose insert, I'm going to import it as a picture right now, not as a background. So I'm going to say picture. So what I really want is not right here. I'm going to choose on this Photoshop PSD. And I'm going to choose on this high quality. This is the folder I have my work in. And this time around, I'm going to hit on this collection right here. Now I have these textures, which you can actually have downloaded as well. So though I'm going to have it right here for you. If you need on that texture, you can actually go ahead and get on the internet. So I'm going to choose this. So this is what I have. So before I actually do anything, I'm going to actually go to view. Uh, from my view, I'm going to hit this particular headings. I'm going to remove it. So I have something like this. So I can now make sure my image is sitting right. So I'm going to make it go this way a little bit. I'm going to make sure it comes down to this aspect. So we make it the way we really want. So this is awesome. So I have some tone like this, which is very beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is just for me to hit the top level right here and actually go to insert. This time around, I'm not going to insert any image. So what I want to insert is a shape. Click on the shape and hit here. 
so what you need to do is just to get a shape right here and make sure the shape is actually covering the whole you know image we have right here something like this is fine so I'm gonna make sure this shape comes down level so exactly so if I right click on the image I'm going to click right here for mat shape this is awesome so and from the flat shape the line I'm gonna say no line and in terms of the fill color I'm gonna give it a very dark black color so this is not all so I'm gonna hit on this particular effect right here I'm gonna give it shadow to be shadow all so all shadow and uh, this is awesome I'm gonna actually make sure I make it darker something like this so I'm gonna go back to this particular color aspect so I'm going to remove it a, something like I'm gonna make it 20% or 24% is fine this is how I really wanted it so right now I'm gonna click on it and actually have it duplicated so if I have duplicated I'm gonna go this way and this time around what I'm gonna do is for me to remove the effect I have on it right now from here if I choose to I can actually move it this way but I don't want the effect on it so what do I want I'm gonna have to come back here and go to the effect and say no effect so if I click back right here I'm gonna change the color to a very nice blue color just like this and now no transparency I have something like this so I can now reduce it to what I really want so something like this is gonna be nice for me so here we go this is one aspect of it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to hit the top level and actually still give with another shape. So I'm going to choose on this particular shape right here. And I have it chosen. I'm going to go down exactly and have something like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this white ball to remove the line. So I have pure white in it. So awesome, right? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to have it duplicated. So I actually make sure I reduce this height and leave the width the way it is. So what I'm going to do is to give this a particular yellow color I've given it previously. So I make sure it's actually aligned with this. So if it aligns with this, that is awesome. So I need to reduce it a little bit down to this level. Now it's awesome. So the next we're going to do is to get it an image so I've shown you how to actually bring in image as what as a background and bring it image as just an image without a background so I have this plenty images right here that we can actually use for our work so I'm gonna actually go with this like what we have in the previous dashboard I have it copied and I come back to the dashboard right here and I have it pasted so we're gonna make sure it's actually sitting right here just like this so which means this time around I'm gonna have to make sure I have this and this I'll bring it down oh sorry for that I'm gonna click right here and actually make sure this one is being reduced a little bit so right now this is awesome very nice so I'm gonna be having this one to calm down a little bit I'll bring it down this way so this is sitting right on the right spot right so what am I going to do next? The next thing I'm going to do right now is to actually start by actually giving this a very more awesome way to make sure it appears like what we have in the previous one. I'm going to have this letter M here. It's going to stand for a movie. So as just like a logo, I'm going to bring it to the top level just to make sure it beautifies it just like this. So it sits in the center like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is for me to actually have this duplicated once more again. And the reason why I'm having this is because I want to actually have something here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to actually make sure I make it a little bit smaller. I'll keep it moving it up. So I'm going to go to the top level right here. I can actually have my color being changed right here. So go to format. And from format, you can actually change the color from what you want. Uh, I think I'm going to go for this particular type of black right here. So right now I have some time nights like this, which I can actually always reduce. So I have it nicely done this way. That is awesome. So look at it. It's going just like the way we wanted it, right? 
So the next thing is for me to have a dashboard right here, just like what we have right now. So I'm going to have to move it down to this particular aspect, which shows that this is a dashboard. So now it's cool. So what I'm going to do is to make sure this is actually sitting right on it. So it's named dashboard. It actually gives it a name. Now we are almost appearing to get what we really want. So I'm not going to concern myself much about what we have right here as what uh, the filter aspect right now because we are not ready to create a filter. Instead, we are going to actually start to run our first analysis and see what it is. So let's see how that goes right now. Now it is time to create our first analysis and actually make the dynamism going. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to actually go and actually have the data set right here because we don't really have it right on this. It's for we to just create a plain, you know, dashboard. So I'm going to actually hit on this and go to the main dashboard where we actually sh uh, got our, you know, example from. So I'm going to click on this source right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually come right here, hit at the top and control what? I'm going to control C. Sorry, I'm going to control A. So control A, A is going to help me to select it all. I'm going to copy it away from here down to the dashboard. Now here we go. I have it as just like this. So the next we're going to do right now is for we to click on it and decide to actually name our data source. Uh, like is it? It's on that. Is it just like a table right now? It's just a table. It is normal table, normal Excel table. So we can actually decide to name it if we feel like it's going to actually make our life more easy. But we don't really need it. But we can actually name it our what? Our movie, movie data. So I'm going to say movie data. So I have it named. So what am I going to do? We are going to actually use pivot table. I'm going to show you how to use pivot table. If you are not very much familiar with pivot table, now you know how to summarize the data with pivot table by actually showing you this particular aspect. So all you need to do is to click anywhere around your, you know, your data and actually go to the top level. What you're going to see is you see this particular insert. When you click it, we have a lot going on right here. So the part you're going to be concerning ourselves about right now is the pivot table aspect. I'm going to click on the pivot table and here we go. Is your first time right? Not a problem. And you've been working with pivot table, just point this step. Right now we have it named. It's giving us movie data, just like what the name will give to it right now. So it's asking me, do I want to need a new sheet on existing worksheet? So because I don't have any other worksheet open, so right now I'm going to be opening this on a new sheet. So if I want to use this particular sheet for it, or this sheet, I'm going to use the existing one. But right now I'm going to actually say OK. And here we go. It takes me to a very new sheet. And this is how it is. So now what I need to do is for me to come right here I s and see the columns I have right on my dash oh sorry on my data cells. So right now I'm going to go to what? To actors. So here is my lead actors. I'm gonna drag it down to this end and I'm gonna drag my revenue to this end. So what are we trying to create? Let us look at what we're trying to create before we try to do something crazy. So here we go. Hit on the dashboard. So we're trying to create this Harrison Ford. So you can see Harrison Ford is one of the top actors who had appeared in approximately 25 movies. Now I want to see how do we get how, how many movies this particular actors had appeared in and the revenue. This is what we're trying to achieve right now. So going back to the main dashboard, we are building right now. Here we go. So all we need to do, we have so many ways to go to the top 10 and actually reduce it to top 1, top 20 or whatever we really want. So if I'm going to show you this particular way for the first time. So click on this particular aspect and hit on view um, value filter and we'll go to the top 10. I'm going to hit on it and here I'm going to actually reduce this to what? To just top 1. So if I hit this overall in the movie, the data set we have right now in this, mo in this movie data set, this part thing is actually the very actor that is pulling the highest revenue of the company. So I don't need a grand total, I'm going to have to remove it, click on it and actually come right to this particular aspect. By right click you'll see remove uh, grand total and you have it removed. But there is another option. So the option is going to be you going to the top level right here and actually hit on design. So from design you're going to see this particular grand total and you can turn it off. So it's normal there. So if you look at here we're having raw levels so I don't want it, I want to give us a uh, the lead actor. So if I go to the top level as well, I'm going to hit on design and this time around I'm going to go to report layout. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to show in tabular form. Here we go. This is awesome, right? So I want this to be in a dollar form. So what I'm going to do is for me to click on my control one and my control one is going to take me to where I'm going to have to actually place a currency sign on it. So currency, I'm going to say no extra decimal. 
and if I hit OK, this is what I have. But this is not all. I have something that I want to share you. Now, what we want right now is how many movies has this particular, you know, uh, actor appeared in. So what I'm going to do, I don't have to go back to my data source again to actually insert another pivot table. I can copy from here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say Control C. We help me to copy, and I'm going to come this to this particular expert and say Control V and have it pasted. But advisable, it is always advisable to actually create a new pivot table in another sheet. For the purpose of this illustration, I'm going to use one sheet for it. But if you're creating your own work or a client work or your own boss or your boss work, because the pivot table can grow over time and affect under pivot table behind it or beneath it, so use another worksheet is actually awesome. Okay, fine. Now I have this, so I'm going to actually click right here and actually have to remove what I'm going to clear the filter. No more filter on it and i'm going to come to this particular area and say okay right now i don't want this particular value to be here any longer so right now i'm going to go to the date released and drag it down to this end and here is what i have it's giving me dollar, dollar sign right so i can always have it removed so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to say control one oh sorry if i double clicked and it gives me this i'm going to actually have to delete this away from here so yes get away so now I'm going to say control one. My control one is going to take me here. I'm, I'm going to say number. So if I hit OK right now, uh, this is changing alone. So I'm going to actually have to highlight everything. Control one. And I'm going to go to number. So no extra decimal. I just need one number. Now here is it. So it's given that account of movies this person has acted. So if I go right here now, this is actually this person has acted 14 movies two movies and on and on so we have 14 we have eight we have all of that so how do we know how many movies this particular person has actually appeared in so i'm going to drop my cursor right here and actually hit on this equal to i'm going to use vlookup to actually fetch that so remember we took the bot we're using formulas our pivot table at the same time to get the kind of analysis we really want so if i use vlookup right here so what the vlookup is going to do the vlookup is going to look at this value this is the value we're going to look up right here. I'm going to hit comma. So it's going to ask me for the table array. The table array is going to be this. I'm going to highlight everything we have right here. So now I'm going to hit comma. So it's asking for the index number. So where do I want to pull this particular information from? I want to pull it out from the second one right here. And I'm going to say, OK, go to the second column and push that value out of it. So I'm going to say under comma again, right now, do I need the exact match or the approximate match? I need the exact match, of course, I'm going to have zero right there. And that is all. So if I actually close, I believe you know what lookup is all about before. If you don't, now here you go. So I'm going to hit enter. So it's going to show me that this particular actor has actually acted 25 movies. Awesome. So can we verify this and see how this goes? Okay, okay I, can, I can actually click on that and go to right here go to analyze and from analyze i'm going to actually go to filter so i'm going to go to okay let's see if i can go to journal so i'm going to hit okay right now we have a filter so if i go to action movie so what is going to happen okay i go to adventure so now it's changing so every single time this name changes it actually says okay this adventure guy the lead actor is actually has actually acted seven movies if i change it to animation i'm gonna say nine movies which means he's working so it's picking from here this is dynamic so what is the next thing to do to actually have it the way we have it right here is to actually have a dynamic comment on it that actually shows how many movies this person has acted altogether with how much revenue he has generated so let's go back to the workbook so here we go now right here on the top level right here we're gonna actually start to do that i'm gonna say equal to so if i hit on equal to right now so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say this tape right here so we're gonna concatenate this understand concatenation be very smart in this so, so we have to use this particular sign and we have to use this top quotation give it a space to give your next word a space so now i'm gonna actually have to close this again this time around i'm gonna do after i put it on i'm gonna say okay under quotation because i'm gonna have my words inside here so what is this actually about it's just like a text it's a, sh it's a space so right now my words is gonna go right here i'm gonna give it a single space now to get off from this tape so i'm gonna say this actor has 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna say is. The uh, is was sorry to that one of the top actors who had appeared. Oh, I'll get this right. Who had appeared in approximately. approximately now I have to close this with it because I want to actually concatenate something else so right now I'm gonna say okay this and approximately nine boom so I'm gonna have to actually have this closed as well so I have it closed so this time around I'm gonna say movies so I'm not gonna say movies just like that I'm gonna actually have to open bracket and put my s in here which it can be movie one movie or two movies when it is one we apply movies we apply movie and when it is just two three four five we say movies so we can have it like this okay fine i'm gonna say movies and generated now we're gonna have to actually have this again and uh, i'm gonna give a space and have this and come again and this time around okay fine before this space not space yet and generated so we just need to go with this particular revenue so now i have it closed right so i'm gonna say revenue for the company so if i have this closed i hit enter here we go so we have it dynamically so right now we have a little problem the problem we're having right now is that we have this approximately and the nine to be together and we have this particular n because we are getting something wrong so can we solve this right now and show you if you have the same problem and this is actually revenue for the company is actually together let's see how we can solve this so i can now double click on this one and get the correction done so if you look at what happened right here so we don't have space between here so we need to give a space so now that we're giving a space and we come right here we need to actually have a quotation mark closed right here to have this one closed and with that i'm gonna have a space right on it so the next thing is that this is actually written together revenue then i'm gonna actually give a space for and give a space for d so this is nicely done right so what next can i do so if I actually go ahead and actually hit enter so now if I hit enter this is what I have it's nicely done but one thing is wrong why is the problem right now the problem is that where is this dollar sign we have around our, our, our currency our value right here so we need to get that done so I can actually come right here and actually double click on this and let us figure out where this is sitting so it's sitting on B4 so here is the B4 so what I'm gonna do I'm going to actually wrap this with what with text function I'm gonna say text so now you're gonna see what text function is doing so if I now say text right here I'm going to come right after the B4 and hit comma so the next thing I'm gonna actually have right here is a little space on it I'm going to use this dollar sign so if I want my dollar sign to be as close as this I'm gonna actually leave it this way and hit on the hash key you get so if I hit on the hash key before I actually do this I'm gonna say so okay sorry for this I'm gonna open a particular of uh, double quotation mark and actually have my dollar sign inside it and a hash key so I'm gonna say comma I'm gonna give it two hash and a zero so now close the quotation mark and close the brackets right here so what if we hit enter what are we gonna see just like this now we have the dollar sign to wrap it up this is awesome so we want to have this particular sieve right here on capsulator so how we're gonna have this to make sure it's turned out so if I double click again what I'm gonna do is actually come right here and say upper then I wrap it up with this particular part here we go nicely we can see it's now in capsulator so the next thing I'm gonna do is for actually get is for we to actually get this to our dashboard so how are we gonna do this it's very simple so we go to the dashboard and I'm gonna click on this particular top and go to insert from insert I'm gonna hit on this particular word art and I bring it on so the first thing I'm gonna do is go and go to view from view I want to show the formula bar 
so here is we go so right now I'm gonna say okay equal to and I'm gonna go to this particular and pick on my lead actor so here we go I'm gonna bring a sorry for that just control Z will take you back so I'm gonna actually have to bring this to the top to the top level so before that I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing so we're gonna actually need to actually format it to what we really want so I'm gonna give it the nice formatting okay nicely can go for this and I can make it bold and I'm gonna put it on a white background so here we go nicely so here we go I'm gonna have it right there so the next thing I'm gonna do is for me to actually go back and actually in get under insert of a world arts I'm gonna go this way here we go so now I'm gonna hit an equal to and bring out my dynamic comment on it so I'm gonna click on here I have it in this cell so if I hit an equal to here is what I have I um, have to go into this and make it this way okay nicely can still reduce this nicely so I can come to the top and change the color but this time around I'm not gonna give it a full white color I'm gonna make the color to be a little bit all oh, nicely so I'm gonna actually give it bold and make sure I crank it up so remove the boldness and actually instead do this oh nicely it's sitting right so I can actually have it this way and what I'm gonna do I'll make sure this one is centralized on it so now here we go every single time I place a filter on this it changes dynamically to what we really want so this is awesome so the next step right now is for you to see if we go back to the dashboard so what are we gonna see we're gonna see that we have two time of released by this particular company so how we're gonna get this is the next option let's see to that in order to get it to Tom movie we're gonna go back to our back end so I'm gonna actually call this one analysis so analysis so here's our analysis sheet so I'm gonna copy it away from here just to recycle trade this so I'm gonna say ctrl C and we have to actually have it pasted right here right now I told you always the new sheet if you're doing this for your clients and this time around I'm gonna go and have to remove this away from here so right now I get this away from here I'm gonna actually go to my release date and drag it down to this level I have with the count of it so now what we need to do we don't need to use count and I'm gonna go down and go to if it actually defaults to count like this and you don't want to be in count you want to be in some in summary so you can actually go to what go to this particular aspect and go to this field so and here you hit on summary and when you hit ok it's gonna give it this right but this is not what we want right let's see what we really want how we can actually get into it so now what we want is gonna be on count we don't want it on what we don't want to on summary so now if I remove the filter away from here and actually click back I'm gonna see three or uh, three thousand seven hundred and twenty five and it's on dollar sign so it's not on dollar sign we don't really want it to be on that so what I'm gonna do right now is to hit my control one so from control one I'm going to go to number and from number I'm gonna say no extra decimal I'm gonna hit OK which is this is, this is the total movie a bit that it has been acted by the company so what we need to do right now is to go back to a dashboard and actually make sure we have this right here okay I'm gonna say okay ctrl D will help me to get this duplicated so what I really want is to have the dynamic name or uh, sorry the figure right here but we don't want this particular dynamic name to be on it so what I'm gonna do is to actually have to get my name right here I'm gonna say uh, total movies by the company so total movie by the company so if I go to the top level right now I have to reduce this to something like this okay I should go for this and I have it on bold so we can actually bring this down so ctrl Z will help us to control that so we can do this and make sure it's actually right here and I can actually say okay double this and go to the top and pick the numbers of movie being acted so I'm gonna go right here and hit analyze and from analyze I'm gonna hit on this particular movie numbers of movie being acted oh stop that 
go back again and before we do that we're gonna hit on equal to and I'm gonna hit on analyze and I'm gonna hit on this so if I hit OK I have this so I can actually crank it up to you know fit into what I really want so I'm gonna make the figure bigger so we go on this and I'm gonna hit on bold and this time around I'm gonna give it a very nice pure white so I have it like this so let's see if we bring down our filter right here what are we gonna have so the filter is not gonna be as the kind of filter we've really made so I'm gonna actually move my filter into that particular aspect in a GFE but for now what we're gonna actually be doing is just to actually play around with the data we have right here so if I choose actual movie this is 9 uh, hundred movie been acted which is the total movie by the company is 900 and now this is the lead actor if I change this everything right here gets to change and you can see the text is actually changing along as I change this this is very awesome right so this is how beautiful this kind of dashboard could look like so in the next video we're gonna actually take a look at the remaining part of this video because I really need to make sure this video is shared and you follow along step by step on how we create our dashboard right here on this channel so if it is your first time and you want to hit the subscribe button, it's your choice. Please do that and you will definitely follow along with all my videos step by step how I make them. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed and stay out of trouble.